One of the ways to build and maintain a healthy community is to make sure that it is clean every day. But also, every day, we can see waste everywhere. Homes, schools, and communities are kept clean through proper waste management. But what exactly is a waste and how does proper waste management help? Let's start with waste. Waste is defined as unwanted or unusable materials. Any material that is already classified as worthless or no use like this food wrapper, defective or unwanted is classified as waste. Waste vary in size. It can be as small as bottle cups or big as a car. Waste are the ones that we put inside our trash bins or the one that the garbage collector collects. But is that the end of it? No. All of the collected waste ends up in the landfill. But how about the uncollected waste, you ask? Improper waste disposal can be one of the reasons why there are uncollected waste. These waste can clog sidewalks, canal, streets, and even bodies of water. The solid waste can be a breeding ground for microorganisms, rats and other pests, insect or other disease-carrying animals. This waste may also contaminate groundwater and affect nearby resources. But how do we accumulate waste? Where can we see it? Let's expand our learning and discuss the sources of waste. Waste can be classified as domestic waste, industrial waste, agricultural waste, municipal waste, nuclear waste, and biomedical waste. Let's discuss them one by one. Waste generated due to domestic activities are called domestic waste. For easier understanding, these are waste that can be seen inside our house. Bottles, leftover foods, and discarded appliances or clothes can be classified as domestic waste. Waste from various types of small and large-scale industries are called industrial waste. Industrial waste include any material that is rendered during a manufacturing process. For example, paints, tires, and chemicals can be classified as industrial waste. Waste from agricultural operations are called agricultural waste. These include waste from farms, poultry houses, and slaughterhouses. Samples are plant remains, animal waste, and leftover fertilizers. Municipal waste is generated in a municipality or a local government area. It also includes household or domestic rubbish, often dumped in dustbins for collection. Restaurant waste and even school waste are classified as municipal waste. Municipal waste are collected from public waste bins. Nuclear waste is the radioactive waste generated from nuclear energy industry. Samples of these are nuclear fuel and x-ray machines. Radioactive waste are the most hazardous of all. They need to be handled carefully as they can remain dangerous for thousands of years. Biomedical waste are classified as infectious materials and can be seen in hospitals, nursing homes, clinics, and laboratories. Samples are human anatomical waste, waste sharps such as used or unused needles, syringe, lancets, scalpels, blades, glass, etc. Chemicals that are used in production of biologicals and disinfection. We need to segregate this waste so we can avoid any kinds of health hazard. But why do we need to study waste if they are already discarded and classified as waste? Well, what members of the community fail to realize is that the garbage problem is a serious cause of concern. Having waste is a part of life, but it gotten out of control for several years. 
Local governments spend billion for its collection and disposal, but if communities remain passive, there will be economic problems as well as damages in personal and environmental health. That's why it is important for everyone to take part in taking care and keeping our environment clean, whether it is at home, in school, or the whole community. We are now done identifying the meaning, sources, and importance of learning waste. And for our next week lesson, we will discuss proper waste management. So now, I hope you stay safe, stay home, and stay clean. See you next week, everyone!